So a factorial problem using recursion, so we're going to be creating a new class, recursion factorial. This will not going to be a JavaFX application, it will be a simple Java application. Again, recursion is a process where a function keeps calling itself till an end condition is met. So first it builds a stack of calls and then it starts winding the stack back to the first call. So we will going to be creating a function called factorial. So public static int factorial. This function will receive a value of type number as a parameter and then it has two sets of choices. Now what is a factorial? For example, if I have to calculate factorial of 4, it means 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. What does it comes out to? 24. Okay. Similarly, if I have to calculate factorial of 5, it will be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which will going to be 24 times 5, which comes out to 120. So it goes like that. Okay. So, what is the ending condition of factorial? And the ending condition of the factorial is, if the number reaches 0, that's the ending condition of a factorial. What must a factorial do otherwise? If the ending condition has not yet reached, what should it do otherwise? So I make a call to the factorial with the number 4. This is my first call. Is 4 equals to 0? No. So it goes into the else. What is it supposed to do? It is supposed to do this. 4 times. Now make another call to factorial where you pass 3. Now, when 3 reaches the body, it's a second call. Is 3 equals to 0? No. So what it does, now this one says 3 times call factorial with a 2. Then he says, 2 times factorial of 1. Then he says, 1 times factorial of 0. So now when you reach the factorial of 0, what is going to happen? The if condition will be true. So what will be returned back? 1. Okay. So now the winding process starts. What is 1 times 1? 1. Now this 1 will going to be returned at this spot. 2 times 1, 2. Now that 2 will going to be returned at this spot. 3 times 2, 6. Now that 6 will going to be returned at this spot. 6 times 4, this was the very first call, so the answer is 24. So first it goes down, and then it goes up. So here my calls will going to be return n times factorial of n minus 1. Okay? So now when you run it, we're going to give you 24. If you make a call from the main. So you need to make a call from the main. System.out.println I want to call factorial uh, 4. and check your console, the answer will be 24. If you change that number to a different number, like 5, 6, 7, we'll just keep calculating the factorial of that number. But you have to make sure your n equals to 0 returns 1. 